And Kevin is going to be a little crafty early in the fight. And then he has a rhythm that sometimes throws a lot of fighters off. I know Ed Hamid complained about he had problems getting his own rhythm together because Kevin has his own rhythm. Kelly's problem to me is not been so much his chin. Is a lot of times as fights move on, he has a tendency often to swell around his eyes. And that Against Alejandro Gonzalez, that he was blinded in the fight and simply was unable to continue. Kevin is switching around. If you notice, he surprised us. He changed into his, sometimes too many right hands, and that's very good, particularly for fighting the southpaw. I call him the air force. That, that's the right hand right there. Morales, trained by his father. to paint and get away from his punches. Kelly lands a left hand. Morales fires back with a right. Right hand by Morales there. He's, he's putting a lot more pressure on Kelly than Kelly wanted. Hard left hand by Morales. One of the things you saw in Morales Barrera is that if you hurt Eric, if you hit him, he wants to come back right away. Morales is fighting the perfect fight. He's getting very close to it. And, and, and most southpaws are basically box numbers in the first round tremendously one-sided Morales landing 16 of 44 Kevin Kelly only seemed to have landed four of 60 punches and there's a big right hand by Morales straight up the gut and the uppercut lands too so once again Kelly got to a conventional right hand position again in fact if you notice he only turns in that position, but he doesn't punch or do anything effective from the position. Much, much slimmer to Hoya. Oh yeah, he switched to a southpaw position, but never did punch effectively from that position. Yeah, but he's a little bit more into it right now. As an overhand force, he's altered his game a little bit for the southpaw, and it's working big time. His previous fights. That he had to strip down those last four pounds. It must be to set up a knockout in the late rounds. to the body by Morales as Kelly was switching, teasing the moment to fire in and drive that left hook. And it's interesting that every time that Morales gets hit with a punch, he retaliates right away. Always. Effective landed punches have been few and far between for Kelly. The big question is how long can he maintain it? If he can maintain this tempo, it would be a very interesting fight. Break! Well, he is a relaxed fighter. And of course, you'll recall that Foreman lost the first round nine rounds to Moore rather one-sidedly. So he's following the script so far. Kelly is coming back with his own left. Yes. Right there again. He's done it four times in a row. And there's the overhand right and a right uppercut. And Kevin wobbled through the ropes. But the experienced fighter that he has, you've noticed, Kelly grabbed and tied up his man and clicked him and tried to smother him. And now comes back with a left to try to back Morales up. Right. I thought for a moment I was going to have Kevin in my lap here. Kevin is counter-punching every time. As Morales, he may have knocked him down by now, because Kevin's landed some pretty good shots at himself. That Morales shoots his jab, he's counting with his own straight left. But it's just a matter of youth against uh, dance. But he can go ahead and fight for the knockout, because he's winning every round anyway. Win this fight. It seems that he's looking to try to land a good straight left hand punch to try to knock out Morales. Mentioned at the beginning of the fight, he's a set the pace fighter. As yes. his pace slows, yes. Kelly gets these chances. Yes, and it, what, what happens once you get hit, it, it gives him new energy. <laughs> oh, it looks like it he wakes him up. He was trying to trap Kelly into coming at him. <laughs> and he got it done. Great! Let go! Let go! Hard left hand by Morales. Caught. But Morales couldn't sustain a good attack. There's a big counter left by Kelly on good chin. Well, I'll tell you what, I have to give Kelly credit too. He's taking some good shots tonight. This is trying to mix in the left hook and with terrific effect here. That's a new weapon. Prevented Morales from being so effective with Barrera. Hard good left right hand. hand by Morales. Knocks Kevin Kelly's chin up in the air. It was the body punch that's Sally talking to Lawrence Cole. 
A long time to go. I, 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 or not, it was wise for him to go down. Oh, there's a big right hand. Yes. Kevin takes that one pretty well. Comes back countering with his left. But this, this still is a dangerous fight for Morales also, because this is stage. Kelly is still punching with full power. Absolutely. Morales' big right hand with a big left of his own. Yeah. I think after this fight, no one can question not only the, the guts, but also the chin of Kevin Kelly. He's taking what some massive fight. shots. Oh, yes, yes. Well, this is becoming a... a it's Nassim Hamed who looms as his biggest competition in this division. And also, I have to point out, Nassim Hamed is probably one of the biggest punchers in the history of the featherweight division. If, if Morales allowed himself to take power shots from Naz the way he has from Barrera and Kelly. Morales is a good punch himself. I know. <laughs> you know, so if, if he led first, Naz could be in trouble, but I, it's going to be a very interesting fight. <laughs> we'll fight him when the time comes, just to wait and see. Uh, and their timetable is not until next spring or summer, actually. Not to hold Kelly behind the head. Kevin's right eye is beginning to swell as Morales tags him with a right to the chin, and Kelly comes back with a counter left. People in any of these, the fights that these Warriors have had have ever asked for their money back. Ever. Surprise, I'll be honest, that the punches that Kelly has taken, he's been taking some unbelievable punches, especially having not been that active the last couple of years. Well, as Kevin Kelly said, hey, I grew up on the streets of Queens. Does he think I'm not tough enough for him? You watch. Oh, my God. Well, I tell you what, a lot of people don't understand what that means. It means that the rounds have been some of them good rounds, but nevertheless, that was a winner and that was a loser. Good fight, and has his moments. Still, the majority of the round is dominated by Morales. Because exchanges like this show Morales' tenacity and Three, determination. Four, five, six, Larry, the question seven, that you had earlier that you... The punch that knocked him down came about four punches before the punch that finally got him down. He's not firing back now. He's not firing back. Yes, he is. There he goes. And, and is, he is still dangerous. Earlier, you heard that he bet Manfredi ran to Angel's Corner asking that the fight be stopped. Valerie's been through this a lot. If he doesn't return a punch, please go. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's a big right hand that he landed to stop Morales in his tracks. There's still some fight left in the old Warriors. But he's virtually defenseless. And he's almost blind in the right eye. And Lawrence Cole is going to stop it. Oh, the round was over. The round was not over. Bill Borza going nuts about the stoppage. Borza trying to say the round was over, apparently. Kelly's upset with the stoppage. Morales has another victory. being hit a lot. He wasn't being hit cleanly. And the fact that he would return punches still made it interesting. And he was still dangerous at this point to me. 30 seconds it was, left in the round. Yeah, it was more so a case of one guy seemingly being physically stronger. And, and uh, Kelly's legs not being up under sturdy enough. I just think Lawrence Cole was uncomfortable seeing Kevin take that much punishment. Larry, what'd you think? I think it was an accumulation of his perceptions that, that this is not going to ever change. And let's give Kevin all of his due. He committed as much as he could. He went as far as he could. Just like Manfredi earlier, he's a pro. A total professional Kevin Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Lawrence Cole steps in and calls a halt to the contest. The official time... Two minutes, 30 seconds of round number seven. The winner 
who is now the interim champion, de Zona Norte, Tijuana, Baja, California, Mexico, Eric El Terrible Morales.